Now, if you remember last time, we were using the uh, SSD 1306 uh, write text function and the uh, board string all in capital letters and one word, keep it simple. And um, remember from the last video, we um, had gone over this this uh, write text function pretty pretty well, pretty, most of it. And we got down to this write data function. We're going to explore this further deep down dig down deeper into this so let's check this one out okay so this SSD 1306 write data um, function here has one parameter uh, the data parameter the data byte in this case the ASCII uh, capital B letter and you have a choice between the USART SPI interface or just the uh, regular SPI interface um, I still have to do, get some understanding on this. I don't understand the difference between these two. I guess USART is a, is a hardware based and the SPI is a protocol. I don't know, but um, I'm just going to pick the SPI interface here. And I remember that both, both of these are pretty similar. And uh, so I'm just picking one. And uh, so let's we'll get into this. Say we've chosen the SPI interface, or the program has. And then in this first line, um, you'll see an instance here being uh, declared of the uh, SPI device structure. So if we go look at the SPI device structure, right click on that, we can see that um, the SPI device structure, simple structure, has one member, the ID member. So, um, so in this case, then um, what we're doing is we're taking that one member and uh, declaring, declaring an instance of it and then setting the one member of the uh, structure, the ID member, setting it equal to the SSD1306 uh, chip select pin. Remember the chip select pin is held low for the display to receive data over uh, SPI. Uh, we haven't done that yet, but we've created the structure and assigned the pin to that member of this structure. Now in the next function here, the SPI select device um, we're going to actually take this pin that we um, assigned to here in the structure and we're going to pull it um, low. So let's go check this uh, select device function out here. Okay, so this base select uh, device function has uh, two parameters. The first one is a pointer to the uh, to an instance of the SBI T structure so let's go look at that SPIT see so here is uh, the structure that contains the uh, registers for the SPI uh, kind of getting down to the guts of heart of the SPI here and the uh, one we're, we're, we're interested in here is the data data register so um, so we've um, so we're uh, selecting the device um, So select device. So we're pointing to the uh, the first parameter is pointing to that instance of the SBI structure that has the actual data register in it, and then the second parameter is is um, that pointer is pointing back to this um, structure here, this instance of the SBI device structure that has our chip select uh, pin on it. So let me go back to that. the second part here so you see the SPI um, device uh, structure and a pointer uh, pointing back to that and then it's, it's going to take the um, you know this this uh, the pointer is pointing back to the instance of this SPI device structure that had the one member the ID member that had the chips uh, select assigned to it and then it's just taking the the set pin low function and uh, and it's pulling telling it to pull that um, ID that chip select uh, pin low um, so that the uh, the display can receive the SPI data over the interface. Okay so we're at this point now and then moving on to the next uh, this this function or actually this is a macro this SSD 1306 select data macro let's go take a look at that right click on it and we can see here it's a simple macro with um, the uh, set um, the arch IO port uh, set pin level. I don't remember that as a macro or function, but it 
it sets the pin level high or low and in this case it's for our, our DC pin or SSD 1306 data command pin and um, if you look in the uh, 1306 uh, um, data um, PDF uh, this pin when it's um, when it's it's high it'll be uh, it, it, we um, expecting a, a data byte coming over over the line or if it's um, if it's um, the command is hold on a sec. Yeah, data data is high, and I got this screwed up. The command is low, so that pin will be low if it's a command. So it'll be low if it's a command or high. Uh, the pin will be set high if it's uh, data, which you can see here. Obviously, you get to select uh, data. A macro so that the data command pin is you set the true or, or, or pulled high um, because we're sending data. Remember the data we're sending is the capital B ASCII letter and um, let me save that before I screw it up again. Alright so so we're down here at this point here um, oops, not select command I want Oh yeah, see I'm in the wrong function here. I'm in the right command function. We want the right, right data, which is lower here. So we're writing data. They look, see, you can notice they are. They're very similar. Obviously, they're going to be the same, almost identical, with some differences. You know, whether you're setting the pin high or low. In this case, it's a command uh, function here that we're sending a command over to it. Or you know, this is the SSD 1306 header file. And then if you go down a little bit lower, you can see the data function, which you know obviously we're uh, concentrating on right now. So we're down here to uh, select data, and we covered that. The next line is the SPI write single uh, function, which has uh, let's go ch check that out. Right click on that. Let's see what's happening here. So the write single function has the uh, the uh, pointer to the uh, instance of the SPI structure that contained the remember the data register it's this first parameter and then the second parameter is our actual data which if you remember is our capital B or ASCII capital B uh, byte and um, so then it's going to use this SPI put function and once again you know, pointing to our data register uh, structure instance and with our data, our capital letter B and uh, the, with the pointer to that and then it's going to just assign our actual data uh, register with our capital B or capital B letter. So you really got down to the core of the SPI interface here uh, with this function. We got, you know, pretty close to the bottom if not the bottom and um, okay so we've written the single data there and then uh, the easiest line to understand and the whole program here a simple delay um, of uh, three three microseconds and then uh, on to D, the SPI deselect device <coughs> excuse me which is really the opposite of the SPI select device so let's right click on that okay so SPI deselect device with the pointer to the uh, SPI um, data register structure and second parameter is the remember the SPI device uh, in, uh, structure instance the pointer to it I had the one member the ID pin which uh, we had set low for the uh, chip select to enable it and now we're going to disable it by setting the pin high and setting that member or that structure high and that is it for this section um, I think in the, in the next um, it should give us a decent understanding of, of you know of writing uh, data to the OLED um, interface through the SPI and I think next I'm going to cover the uh, clear 
um, there's a, a clear function to uh, erase um, the um, to erase the uh, um, the ASCII characters we've sent to the display, and uh, yeah, I think I'll cover that next. Give us a, uh, might give us more an idea of the uh, what's going on as far as um, locations of where it writes the uh, data on the display.